Bray Boston is a genuine exclusive. No, I'm the head Bray Boston charge. Well, let's not do that. So you guys, I want to come in and talk to you guys about a couple of ways that you should be marketing your Bray business right now. Now, we know that there's a whole bunch of videos about marketing your brain business, but what I'm going to tell you about things that you can actually go do right now, like actionable things that you can say, hey, I'm going to pick one of these things that I'm going to go do, okay? First things first, create business flyers, create business cards, and go take them to your local beauty supplies. Just go do it. A lot of times when you walk into beauty supplies, you'll see people's flyers are there, you'll see cards. You can be one of those people with your cards or your flyers there literally you can grab just some you can create flyers through canva you can go on what is it vista print go get you some cards 100 for 10 dollars it's gonna be you go get the flyers or you get the business cards and you can take them to your local beauty supply so that when people go in there and they're looking for a hairstylist they're looking for somebody to braid their hair you're in the beauty supply store they're more likely to just pick up your card and put it in you know put it in their purse put it in their car and then when they're ready they will reach out. So that's the first thing you can do. The second thing is you guys need to be on directories. If you do not have traffic coming to your own website, don't have traffic coming to your Instagram, your Facebook, all that, you need to be on Booksy, you need to be on Style C, you need to be on any braid directory or hair directory that you can possibly list yourself on so that when people look up your city, they look up your state, they look up your, you know, local fiber, fiber, three or five zip codes, you need to be the hairstylist coming up. So you need to get yourself on online directories. Now, the thing about online directories is, is that um, it's, a, it's time consuming because you have to literally set it up like you're literally, you have to put your time and your name and what you offer, all that. But trust me, in the end, it will be worth it so that you can get booked through Bookski, through Styles. The only thing that I'm going to also share with you is keep up with the sites that you do have your information on because some of these sites allow people to book you through the calendar on the site and you don't ever get notified and sometimes you might mess up a client relationship because you forgot or you forgot to check and you didn't know that you had to do their hair today at 12 o'clock, okay? The next thing is you guys ask for a shout out. If you have clients that you've already worked with, Ask them to shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Ask them to shoot to shout you out. Okay. In the next two or three hairstyles you do, ask them if they can tag you in a post that they do, just so that it's a stamp of approval by other people than yourself that have gotten her done by you, and people can can see. Hey, if that person trusts that they do good hair, I'm gonna trust that they do good hair too. Okay. Um. You can either uh, uh, you can ask old clients or you can pay for these shout outs, right? You y'all know it's no secret. Many of us have to pay to play. So maybe you can find maybe you know one to three um, other because I don't I don't want to say stylists that are just like you, but and that that's coming to my next one, y'all. But you can pay for a shout out, okay? Um, the next one is networking, right? You need to hook up with cosmetologists. You need to hook up with makeup artists. You need to hook up with nail techs and brow um, and brow techs. Why? They don't do the exact same thing you do. So if I hook up with a nail tech, I'll tell my people who I do their hair about that nail tech, and that nail tech will in turn tell people about my braiding. So you have to do some type of networking. I'm not saying a large network. I mean, even though that would be good. But if you're just starting, link up with one or two other makeup artists. Tell a makeup artist, hey, you tell your folks about me, I'll tell my folks about you. Again, it's about the trust game. If, if somebody's been going to the makeup artist for a whole year and the makeup artist tells them about a braider, they're likely to go to that braider because they trust their makeup artist, just like you. If you've been rocking with somebody, you've been braiding their hair for two, three years, if you tell them about a certain nail tech, they're going to trust that nail tech because they trust you. Right, so when you network with people, what you're also buying is the trust that they already have and the trust that they've already earned with their clients so that you guys can network and share this information with one another, okay? The next thing you could do is, you're walking billboard, honey. You're walking trophy. You need to, um, the other day when I had my hair braided, at least, I wanna say at least five people asked me who did my hair. Imagine if I still took clients, cause girl, when, when two of my clients is a wrap, I'm not doing this no more. But, um, if I did was still actively taking clients, you guys, 
that would have been my moments for them. They asked me about who did my hair, but I can also let them know, hey, I do hair too. Here's my Instagram. Here's my TikTok. Here's my website. This is how you can book me if you want your hair done, like how I, how I do it. And you guys, that's a way to show off your skills. If you know how to do your own hair as a, as a braider or a natural hairstylist, you being your own mannequin is one of the best ways. Now, of course, you want to be presentable when you're amongst people and you're trying to get people to understand that you do hair too. Um, but you are your own walking trophy. You're your own billboard. So you need to look a certain way with your hair, with your braids, and looking neat, nice, and presentable. Because people will ask you who did your hair. And guess what? You get to say, you did your own hair. And people would then want to book with you. So you guys, I hope that these are things that you can actually take actions on. One, get business cards and flyers. Go drop them off at your local beauty supplies. Two, get on... Um, Online direction, online directory such as Bookski and Stylesy. Um, three, ask for a shout out from old clients or clients that you're about to do now, and ask them to tag you. Or you can pay for a shout out or pay for a tag. Uh, also, next is you're gonna network with makeup artists, cosmetologists, nail techs, brow techs. You give them, you share with your clients about them, and they'll share with their clients about you. And last but not least, you are the walking billboard, so you need to, um, not need to, but if you want to, you can do your own hair and make sure you're presentable because when you're walking around, people are going to ask you who did your hair and you get to say it was you. And that way you can turn that client into somebody that was just asking about your hair into actually somebody that's in your braid chair. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful. Again, if you um, need any type of help, anything, you guys feel free to email me, feel, feel free to but don't slide on my DMs because I don't even be on Instagram. Um, you can email me or just leave me a comment, you guys. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.